Hey, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the messenger. We're gonna have to go and get the last musical notes. But before that, let me just take the freaking headphones down a notch. Talk to this guy. So what's up next? <clears throat> Using the power of a regal demon relic, the artificer shall send the messenger. To the very future he means to prevent. And I already knew I had to do that because I've seen the guy spat out his nonsense about the portal, about the demon relic, so many times now. So let's just do that. Hey, do you wanna know? I wanna go through here. Oh, there it is. Blah, blah, blah. The abyss stares at you. Stare back. Yes! <laughs> I've been around. Oh, that means I've seen every area of the game. Oh my god, this is so cool. Oh, but people are just falling in the background. What the hell? And tentacles and skulls and something's watching me from behind. What is this place? I sense some of my sisters hiding in fear. I will call out to them. They can help you cross this infected realm. Oh, nice. Just don't get lost. What? What's? Oh, those are eyes behind me. Okay. <laughs> this is. Oh man, I want to say this is so cool, but this is so. Oh my god. Ah. Ah! Is there anything? There's there's nothing about this area. Ooh, corrupted future. All right. <laughs> what if I go? Can I go through here? Mm, I think I can. I think I can cheese it. <laughs> yes. Oh no! It doesn't. Ah! It doesn't let me. All right. Let's go where we actually have to go. Nice. Hey, sis. Pew. Ha! <laughs> it's not too... It's not too complicated. There you go. Hmm. Can I do... Oh, it only goes in one direction. Alright. Ah. Alright. Easy enough. Easy enough. Until now. <gasps> oh, wait. I thought I'd actually... <laughs> ha! Ha! Don't tell me I have to go back. Just don't die. Alright. Where are you going? This way? This way. Pew! 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 Oh, we're going there. Pew! Oh man, this is so convoluted. Gets even more complicated, I bet. That's one here. That's one here. And he- Whoa! Where- Where am I- Where am I going? What? Why am I here again? Uh, up. Wait. So there's no amulet that I need to, that I actually need to keep, take care of. There's no power seals. There's no actual secrets that I actually need. It's just finish the finish the level, get the musical note, and break the curse, basically. So what challenge will we have? Because the Demon King is dead. We took care of him. Well, in our time. He might just still be alive in this time. Oh, that would be super meta again. A Demon King that's actually alive and more powerful than the first one. Because we didn't take care of him in this timeline. Nice. Oh, what's this down here? Nothing. Alright. Hey. Ah. Oh, all right. Oh, again. <laughs> ha. But why, why the other spice? Was was that the, just a trap? Oh no. We actually have to. We have to. No, we don't have to go back. Nice. Do you have any? No, we don't. Well, this 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 is getting. Oh, there it is. We found it. That was easy. Also, look at the background. That moon. Print. Ha! 
I'm gonna use that for the thumbnail. You got key of courage! Appearing only for the one who will venture into the biggest unknown. This is one of the notes needed to create a melody that will break the curse. And now we probably have to battle the boss. Okay, Catholo, is that you? Oh, shit! What? Uh-oh, no! Hey, no fair! Run! You know, that's, that's totally unfucking fair Oh, just jump, you yeah. Hey, no fair. I should get far and far away from you. Ah. Oh, man. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. Yeah, I'm getting away somehow. I don't think so, though. <laughs> hey. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Come on. Run, ninja. Run. Also, what is this monster and how... Why is he so big? Well, that was un unsightly. Of course. We actually managed to escape. We actually did it. Whoa! You made it back! Never. Again. This is incredible! What did you find? An abomination. I couldn't describe with words. Sick! Anything else? I found one of the music notes. Yes! I knew you could do it! Do you know what this means? I guess we're on the step, one step closer to lifting the curse. That! And the shopkeeper has to do the dishes for a whole week! <laughs> I was actually expecting something unrelated to the story whatsoever. Mm. Yes, the shopkeeper has to do the dishes the whole week! Nani? I won my bat! Thanks! <laughs> Can we, get, can we go and talk to the shopkeeper and see if, <laughs> if he says anything about that? Need anything? Nah. Nah. I wish. I wish he's, I wish they put, <laughs> they would have put something in there. But what now? Do we just finish the game and that's it? Let's hear the music. Boom. Yes! <clears throat> it sounds better on vinyl. <laughs> At long last, the melody is complete! Okay, what's next? Hmm. Heck if I know! What? My knowledge is limited to the prophecy, which ends with the gathering of all music notes. Well, someone here has to know. Maybe the shopkeeper. Indeed, brave messenger. It is time for the first of our order to share with you the origins of the curse. Be right back. Is he gonna be... This better be important. Ahem! Behold! The melody is complete! Uh, impossible! Can we finally be nearing the end? I knew it was gonna be our shopkeeper. I was actually, I was actually hoping it was, it, it would be him. <laughs> I completed the melody. Do you know what to do next? Hmm. Well, I guess it's only fair. Okay, I officially forgive you for saying my shop didn't look like a shop. <laughs> oh man. I don't want to end the game, this is too good. This is too funny. What? When we first met, I was really happy to show you the place. And then you said it didn't look like a shop. Have you been bitter all this time? I was just trying to do small talk. Sure, whatever. That's behind us now. Seeing how much progress you made, 
It's about time I fill you in on what is really going on. Here we go. What's with the scrying orb? Oh, you're gonna show me. Mm. Eons ago, a civilization of giants lived in the clouds, protecting the world from unknown forces. All right, that's 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 our land. Centuries went by in harmony until one day they watched helplessly as the world suffered a massive flood. Oh, so that's why we ended up. Only a single piece of land remained. Ever adaptive humanity gathered its survivors and built a huge temple where they would try to find new meaning. Answering the call of these troubled times, a formidable couple stepped up by their to be their leader. Gifted with a beautiful voice and an otherworldly ability to create mesmerizing trinkets. Everyone called her Muse, and he, ever stoic, fearless, and mysterious, would be known as Phantom. After a decade of relative stability, the skies began flashing red, as if a war was being waged against the sky giants. Indeed, an army of demons, destroyers of worlds, had found a human realm. With humanity's protectors soon to be extinct, Muse and Phantom inspired everyone to prepare for the inevitable onslaught. The demon army was too strong, the temple was lost, and Muse was killed while trying to protect her people. Fighting back tears, Phantom picked up her final creation to keep as a memento, a music box. Abandoning the temple to the demon king, he led the last survivors of his race to the western edge of the island. That final stand proved successful, and after instructing his people to rebuild and stay hidden, Phantom pushed his luck. Shut up, phone. I'm narrating. Blinded by rage, he darted towards the temple in a foolish attempt to take down the Demon King. And he was probably unsuccessful, unsuccessful in his attempts. That's why the Demon, Demon King is, was still alive. <laughs> Insulted by the boldness of this broken being, the Demon King opted for a punishment worse than death. That's how the curse was implemented. Corrupting his love's memento with demon magic, he turned Phantom's music box into a tether to the human realm. Every 500 years, they would be they would come back to torture humanity until they abandoned all hope and surrendered to extinction. Phantom was forced to wear a cursed mask which would steal his mind and keep him in a state of perpetual distress. But where is he? Inserted into the music box, he would play the organ forever to keep the relic's magic alive. Oh. In this both mental and physical prison, he would be the one to ensure the curse on his legacy was maintained. But Phantom's will was, to, was a strong one, offering lapses of sanity where he could tap into his growing understanding of demon magic. The fight to get rid of the curse would last centuries, so his people would need the ability to cooperate across generations. That means tri time traveling. I mean, the story all fits now. Time travel was the key. With his last stretch of sanity, he wrote a scroll, imbuing it with enough power to attune its carrier to time magic. So that's why we carry the scroll and we have the power to time travel now. Before losing his mind completely, he teleported his final hope, the scroll, to his people's hideout. Oh, poor guy. As they soon realized, the scroll let them see strange manifestations. Things not every mind could understand. Oh look, there's Aang. Only a few brave adventurers had a strong enough will to carry the scroll. They called them messengers. 
with the ability to step through space-time tears. They had access to the void, a safe heaven outside of time. Messengers from all time periods would soon gather there, the perfect meeting point for their endless war. This is so interesting! The story is so good! But as it turned out, meeting denizens of the future, or even one's alternate self, could be troubling for some. After a few incidents of more primitive messengers going into shock, they opted to conceal their appearance. Thus the Order of the Blue Robes was founded, and together they built their headquarters, the Tower of Time. Every curse cycle would have its champion, who would join the Order after passing the scroll to the next messenger. That's where the Western hero comes, comes into play. With the support of the Blue Robes, after many cycles, the music box was reclaimed from the Forlorn Temple. Alright, because that's the Tedworlds of the Demon King, that's the last bastion of humanity they lost to him. Even though the relic was too powerful to be destroyed, a new hope was found that day. Oh man, this is this, this is a long story. Mysterious forces of the world started mock materializing in the form of magical music notes. I don't want to press any button and actually skip the whole thing because that would be awful. I want to see it, and you want to see it. Everyone wants to see it. After one particular gifted messenger managed to gather two of them, an idea emerged. An idea crazy enough that it just might work. If they created a melody strong enough to breach the music box protection spell, Maybe a messenger could enter it and rescue Phantom. So there. Yeah, so there you have it. I'm not sure what you will find inside the music box, but if we have one shot at saving Phantom, this is it. Be on your guard. His mind will have conjured all sorts of traps. Good luck out there. <laughs> The music box beckons! Are you ready to face your last challenge, messenger? Oh, hell yes! But I need a, I need a sip of coffee before anything else. Oh, I'm so small now. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Mm. Yes! <laughs> I love the music! <laughs> Again! Oh, do we have it? Uh, we actually have a map in here! No. Ah. Oh! Oh, wow! Oh, wow! That's <laughs> it! Ha! Mm -hmm. Nice! I'm gonna speedrun this bitch! Ha! <laughs> oh. Oh, alright. Ha! Ah. Just don't get hit by those. Eh, eh. Ha! I also have this cool shuriken I could use on these guys. Ha! Ah. Nail it! <laughs> this level's cool. It'll probably be hard as well. Ha! Ah. I know, I know that for sure, it's gonna be a hard one. Look, piano keys on the right! No, don't kill me. Nice. So we still have past and future here as well. Mm. No! I hate it when that happens. You pressed? Shut up! Ah! I get the joke. I was pressed down. 